Okay. Sure, sure. Uh, everyone. Uh, today we have uh, Mr. Basim Sarvar on board. He's a certified human resource professional as well as project management trainer. He's associated with different organizations like Summit Bank, Premium Hospit uh, Hospitality, and right now he's working with Gary Tech as an assistant manager, talent acquisition. We welcome you, Basim. Today's session is about anger management and personal development. So now you're open and the floor is to you. You can continue. Uh, firstly, thank you, uh, the seat for inviting me. And uh, it uh, was an exciting topic and that excited me to come and speak to the students because uh, being an HR professional, we used to come across with a lot of people uh, uh, looking for jobs, looking for some guidance. At some point, uh, I was also in the same line, uh, seeking guidance from uh, my seniors and all. But now uh, we have got a chance to uh, tell people regarding how uh, they can get the jobs or they can overcome their difficulties in professional or personal lives. So uh, this is uh, something which excites me and I enjoy doing that. So I'll uh, firstly share the screen. Uh, I have just a brief presentation on that. Uh, I'm not fond of uh, long slides and all. Uh, rather than I always prefer the people asking questions and discussing because that's the thing which brings you to uh, certain solutions uh, rather than just uh, presenting and uh, coming up with all those slides and then winding up the presentation. So I'll share the screen. And uh, let's start. So uh, is my screen visible to everyone? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. OK, thank you. So, okay, uh, the topic which we have chosen is anger uh, management and personal development. Um, I think uh, with the name of the topic, uh, many things would be clear. Uh, anger is one thing which I think every single person, human being has. Uh, nobody can say that uh, he or she never gets angry. There are certain points when we lose our cool and we uh, showcase our anger. Uh, which is, I think, uh, uh, people who are able to overcome this thing are all obviously a bit ahead of us because they know how to control themselves, uh, which is very important in personal and professional life also. Uh, in life, there are times when you uh, feel down, you feel uh, like devastated, you don't want to uh, like sometimes work or you just want to sit alone uh, and Sometimes you want to show your anger to others that okay things are not going well in your life. So, so I will discuss on this. Uh, I'll elaborate about the table of content. Of what are some points, and I'll discuss on that. Uh, will be like introduction. I'll introduce myself uh, as Tessin also mm -hmm. introduced. So uh, it won't be a big introduction. Then I'll elaborate about anger management, types of anger management, and how to overcome. And then we'll talk about personal development. That's a huge topic. Okay, introduction, uh, just a brief introduction that I'm working as an AM talent acquisition in Gerideck. Uh, it's one of the best ID companies in Pakistan right now. Uh, worked in hospitality industry in HR. Uh, education and certification, I did my master's from Inti International uh, University and University of Hertfordshire. Uh, certified HR professional and I've done projects on crowdfunding. So this is a brief uh, introduction of me and uh, many of the students also in DHSFA, they are enrolled with our Linux Academy programs also. So if somebody wants to contact me, they can contact me on my email. I'll forward it to Tessin. And uh, if somebody wants to personally also interact, um, feel free to interact. Okay, then I'll... Mm 
Masin, you are not audible. Ma'am, ma'am. Sorry, I'm not here. I think. Hello. Hello. Yes, Basim, you are audible now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, okay, let's start with anger. Uh, I'll define anger in one letter shot. That is danger. Shayad, uh, jitne bhi log yahan pe baithe hain, koi aisa nahi hoga jo ye kahega ki yar mujhe kabi usse nahi aaya. Koi hai aisa jo ke kahe ki mujhe kabi life mein kisi cheez pe usse nahi aaya. Is there anyone who can say? No, sir. Okay. So, anger, if we uh, define it, uh, so that would be a one letter shot that is danger. Obviously, uh, when you are angry, you are not able to come up with uh, the best solutions. You are not able to think properly at that point. And uh, uh, then you make a lot of decisions which at the end of the day you regret. Uh, because you were not thinking uh, with calm and composure. So I think anger is something which uh, not only relates to uh, nowadays, it relates from uh, way back, uh, like in Islam also, that if you are angry, so rather be silent or sit alone, uh, don't make decisions or don't react. So that is something which our religion also tells us that uh, don't do any work when you're angry because uh, you won't uh, succeed in that or you will fall in danger uh, while doing that. So I'll elaborate uh, this one, uh, three types of anger, which uh, we uh, usually have. One is passive, one is open and assertive. Passive, that is that people uh, don't like to admit they're angry. Like uh, sometimes when you feel angry, you don't like to admit and uh, people uh, can see that on your face that you're uh, not comfortable, uh, you're a bit angry, you uh, are not that expressive, but you don't want to comfort in some uh, to somebody. That's uh, I think the passive uh, aggression which uh, few of the people have. Then one is the open aggression. Open aggression is that that a person, when he gets angry, he lashes out, uh, whether it be it's professional, whether it be it's personal, he lashes out to other person and he shows his aggression that, okay, he is uh, not comfortable with something and uh, he is openly telling uh, people, um, rather he's shouting or with his expressions that, okay, he's angry. Then assertive anger is uh, the best one to deal with this anger is that it's yeah when you're angry you need to firstly calm down uh, just think and control that thing just talk or listen to somebody or uh, just uh, move around from that place and just have a walk uh, sit somewhere else alone and try to regroup yourself so that you can uh, think properly and overcome that uh, situation and can have a be better solution. So these are, I think, um, there are other types of anger also, but these are the main types which usually uh, people have when uh, well, all, all the people's like, mainly these three are the ones which uh, the, mostly the people have. Then how to overcome anger management? I think uh, there are also a lot of techniques to overcome. But I think uh, some of the techniques which I uh, mm -hmm. prefer is that uh, uh, thing before you speak, uh, there is one saying uh, that uh, once you want to make a decision, you need to think it a uh, thousand times before implementing or taking that decision. But once you have taken that decision, then stick to that. So always keep in mind that whether you are in your personal life or in your professional life, whatever uh, you want to accomplish or in professional life also, you need to think before, before you speak. 
it's not like that okay like like you're sitting in a meeting and uh, or you're sitting in a classroom and uh, once the teacher said that okay uh, students who are not uh, speaking are not good enough there is some, maybe some mis concept like that also but people who speak logically definitely the one who are more respected in a way that uh, they first think and then speak uh usually when you're anger you sometimes you take frustration like uh you go out to walk uh do some exercise um, sit, uh, sit alone that's uh, take a time out that's what i previously also mentioned but uh, then identify possible solutions you need to identify certain solutions that okay how uh, this is situation arises and now how i need to overcome that uh think and then focus on that that okay fine this uh, maybe um if i do these things definitely i won't be able to uh get into the angry mode and then don't hold a grudge this is uh, one thing which i would always advise to all the students who will be graduating or who will be joining uh, uh the different organizations that in life also and in professional life also don't hold a grudge there are a lot of people uh, maybe uh, you have heard that uh, there are politics in office or politics in sometimes universities there are some sort of favoritism from the teachers that they used to always encourage or uh take the time out for the people who are good uh so these things always come in uh children's mind and uh, then they always hold uh, a grudge okay if he is successful then uh, they don't welcome that they don't challenge themselves to become better but they hold always grudge and like pulling uh one of the things which you can say uh, in the organizations it's very common uh but uh people who have a clear mindset that uh, they what they want to accomplish and whatever things happen uh, uh around themselves they will succeed because they have a clear mindset that uh, where they have to reach so holding grudge or uh ba uh, bad mouthing regarding someone will not help you in neither in your personal life or on in your professional life okay this uh, then personal development uh just uh, personal development i would say that it's the way for people to assess the skills and qualities uh consider the aims and set goals in order to realize and maximize its pot potential that's a normal definition uh let's uh, start with the personal development uh, you can say <clears throat> that when you start uh, your job or when you enter an organization uh, there are two types of development happening one is professional development and one is the personal development um mm -hmm. unfortunately in our uh, country um, most of the organizations don't uh work on the personal development and uh, i won't blame them also it's like personal development is not the core responsibility of the organization in some extent it is but it's uh, more towards the candidate who is working over there i think that person should be uh the one who should work uh on his personal uh, attributes professionally you can grow in an or any organization but uh, to be uh, the best you need to work on your personal development like work on things uh, uh, do some certifications uh, start reading books uh, start uh, uh, looking after that how big companies are working how you can um, um see that uh, what people in your field have accomplished and how you can accomplish that uh, so nobody uh, in your office or nobody in your school may be interested in personal development uh, but it's up to you that how you uh, cope up with that and how you want to improve uh, that is one thing which will help uh, professionally you can grow uh, there will be certain ways uh, you can uh, get promotions and all but personal development is that that it will not only help in your professional life but it will help uh to accomplish the desired goals or uh, the dreams which you have said that okay fine i, I want to reach there so personal uh, development is very important 
this is uh, the whole uh, sum up. I want to just hear the questions and answers from the people uh, regarding these two uh, things, anger management and personal development. So feel free to ask certain questions. Okay, so everyone, I would encourage you to ask questions Pucho, so that you would be having a better idea of the understanding of, regarding the topics. Yes, no problem. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Um, first of all, uh, I would like to talk about uh, on the point sir mentioned that uh, over here in Pakistan, unfortunately, people don't focus on their uh, personal development. Uh, well, I had some of the exposure of the uh, profession industry while I was uh, on uh, in my like six or seven semester so over there i realized that it also depends on the employer uh, who's your, like what type of uh, nature does your employer possesses right like for example sometimes uh, the person you are being supervised from he he also teaches you or she also teaches you many things which you don't know prior to joining uh, the professional environment like uh, uh, like i have seen and uh, i searched two three places so i saw that if the employer is uh, you know, uh, if he's uh, good enough, if he, if he knows how to manage people, so he will always focus on their personal development as well. So I think this factor also depends on the employer, not only on the employee, according to me. So uh, what is your take on this? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like I said, that uh, there are two kinds of people um, um, in life also. Then some people are good, some people are bad. Uh, I won't say... Uh, that most of the organizations are working on this. Yeah, uh, I completely agree with you that certain organizations are there. Uh, like there is a famous saying uh, from uh, Alibaba, uh, Jack Ma, the owner of Alibaba, that uh, when you start a professional career, don't uh, go for the company, go for the boss. Uh, so that individual will always motivate you to go way forward and develop your personal uh, attributes in order to succeed. So there are certain people, uh, if you are within the team, where people encourage uh, having sessions uh, where you can uh, discuss uh, about your knowledge, about uh, what other people have, uh, so they can discuss um, uh, their topics, uh, like sitting uh, at, um, usually we used to have the tea breaks and also uh, just rather than sitting in tea breaks and in chit chatting about uh, like uh, what, movie they have seen or uh, what drama they have seen, it's better that we stick to words and discuss that, okay, what book we read and what was um, the things which uh, was there and share the ideas with everybody. So yeah, I completely agree that it depends on the person and the company also. The culture of the company is very important because uh, if an organization wants to become big, so they need to invest a lot of uh, time on person development also. And at the same time, then the employee has to also realize that, that okay, now the competition is very stiff. If you want to succeed in this world right now, because now there are, if there are a lot of opportunities, then there are like a lot of candidates also fighting for that uh, single opportunity. So you need to upgrade yourself. You need to work on the person development. And some companies are doing that, but unfortunately, um, like I have uh, witnessed uh, many of uh, the candidates coming to get it mm -hmm. and when we are interviewing them so they have the certain things that uh, some uh, candidates were like uh, they were good enough but they never got the chance to express themselves and uh, that's that's the reason so i think uh, to your question um, i'll say yeah definitely it depends and uh, it depends on the culture of the company if uh, the com company gives you the person development a space so it's good enough um, but usually i haven't seen that so that's my take on that thank you so much thank you okay so we have more questions as well i will request everyone to join up the session again because it's about to be over so we will be taking next questions when we will be rejoining in our session okay sure